Hello everybody, Anton Tanitsky is here. In this tutorial I'll talk about how to approach a silhouetted design in 3D code. So the idea essentially in 3D code that uh, really similar to ZBrush, you can turn on the flat color and go ahead and start doing stuff with it. But there are a number of tools and options in 3D code that uh, allow it to be a much more powerful tool than ZBrush. But before I jump into that, I'll just share a photo pack that I uploaded to Photograph. And I'm sharing some promo codes for this photo pack and uh, gift codes. So I have this pack of Soviet missiles, Soviet rockets, that I've photoshot on my recent trip to Russia, visit my family there. And it's a pretty cool reference pack, quite useful for all the parts in you know, related to rockets and you can get it for free if you use the rocket balls promo code and I'll share the link in the description R right back to 3d code so this is the mud world ship I have on my game road for free you can download it anytime and I've talked about how to model this kind of stuff how to do this kind of sketching in 3d code in my previous videos but so let's start right so first of all you want to switch to flat color I'm using my hotkeys but if you want to do it from the menu you go and if, if you click on flat shade in view mode what you see is it's kind of going into this x-ray mode that doesn't really make much sense and it's not really helpful so you actually have to go either to metalness or you have to go to roughness um, right so I was trying to figure out why it's doing it but you know, I don't know also I have hotkeys here but sometimes these hotkeys they stop stop working right I had 7 and 8 7 and 8 stopped working right on different computers don't know why something in 3D code happens that sometimes hotkeys just stop doing their, their thing and you have to remap them again or remap them and remap them back alright okay that's uh, Talking about the bugs. So, one of the powerful feature of the 3D code is the the split mode that you can activate here, and then, for example, let's let's cut few few shapes and don't forget to turn it to minus one in the top. Let's cut few shapes. And I have my depth limit activated, so it didn't work right. Yeah, so we have this part here, we have this part here. And I'm just looking really at the black and white silhouette, it's pretty cool. So right now we have three sep separate layers of three separate subtools if you count some ZBrush. And the thing is that in ZBrush you wouldn't be able to affect any of those altogether, but in 3D code it's really cool, you can. If we go into Vox height and my hotkeys are oh, okay, I've changed my hotkey on Vox height. And what do we do here? And I'll turn off. It actually, was a little bit of an issue here that I had my perspective on when I was doing all the cuts because it starts to cut them not in the best way possible. But and let's take a look. That's right. Switch back to perspective to see the cut through. So in vox voxel height, I'll click on the to go through all the volumes, and I can start and hide all these parts on all the layers. Right. So this is so cool. I mean, I can have 50 different layers, 50 different tools, 50 different objects, but I'll be hi hiding the parts all all across all of them. And I can unhide parts all across all of them and as well. I'm pressing Ctrl on this tool, right? And because I have the perspective on, it starts to go through in the perspective, like it goes into diagonal uh, directions. So you want to turn it off, which I have forgotten to do before. And the really annoying, I cannot assign a, a hotkey to a perspective mode. I'm, if you guys know how to do that, I'll 
really appreciate it, but I don't know how to do it. It doesn't seem to be easily do doable. Okay, so I just want to do a few more splits. All right, and the and for example, I click on one of those splits and I just hide one of them. Oh, we can do a different thing. And again, if I have it, oh yeah, I've forgotten to put um, through all the volumes on split. So if I put it here through all the volumes, it will cut again everything affecting all the tools. So uh, now we'll have a whole collection of different parts and splits that I can uh, hide and see if I can have more interesting silhouette with using this. And let's take a look at our shape here. So, for example, I feel like I want to work on a silhouette of this particular part, right? And I'll just I'll click on that. Okay, so right now my top layer, the root layer, has still got a, quite a bit of details on it. So what I want to do is I go into split and split the whole thing out. So right now it makes the root layer, a tank layer, like empty, just just a now layer, just a group layer. And uh, so it makes me, it makes it possible for me to isolate just this part. All right. And then I can just uh, go, for example, into back into box height. And <coughs> Cleaning up maybe makes something more interesting. Uh, not more interesting, but less noisy. And work on that. Right. It's getting an interesting aggressive shape, an uh, interesting new design that based on an original blobby thing. And I won't always have always be in the silhouette mode, I'll be going up and down and you know. So though actually right now I have so much like visual shading noise that I'd rather go into silhouette and try to modify this particular part looking only at the outlines of the <coughs> of the object right and I keep going with that and just uh, looking at how it, how it stands out I don't really like these lines they're too you know made up so I would rather make something else uh, these split lines But sometimes that's what's what you want. And probably one last thing I'll mention is a uh, cool th uh, trick in 3 code where you can memorize your camera placement. Right, so if you press Control Up, the arrow up, you create a new camera. Right, so then I rotate it, turn on the perspective mode, zoom in, and Hit, hit control up I create a new camera camera view so then I press control side side arrow and I can um, jump in between and just modify what I want jump back into uh, side view and modify what I want it's a really cool way of doing it I unfortunately unfortunately myself I really often forget about it and I start to mindlessly turn around my camera rather than just do this and which is a much more effective way of doing and designing so yeah it's what I would advocate to do is to have few few modes like top view and just memorize them to memory um, control up like save it to memory and then just jump across and do all your silhouettes all your all your work here and it really becomes more like a Photoshop silhouette, work, um, silhouette design work rather than a 3D thing, which is great. 
and you still have the power to have it uh, full on 3D object. So that's uh, about everything I wanted to say about the silhouette designs. Uh, again, thank you guys for coming. I'll try to keep freebies coming on on my channel on e with every video. And so keep it up. Thank you for watching.